and welcome back to part two where I'm putting a new twist on an old Irish tradition, corned beef and cabbage. Who says you have to wait once a year to have corned beef and cabbage? Not me. So I just got some corned beef. It was a three pounder from the store and I boiled it in the corned beef seasonings and I let it sit about a pound an hour in the water. You want to let it soak to get all that salt out. Brisket needs to just tenderize with the liquid. So now it's ready. Then I had some purple cabbage and some green cabbage from a tilapia taco bar I made the other day. I boiled that and then I put it in the broiler with some salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and butter. And I had some extra pancetta so I just threw that on top of there. It got nice and crispy and broiled. Good home cooking. And I had some red skin potatoes that I just boiled up. I put butter, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder on that too. And I got me some nice red skin potatoes. Nice new twist on an old tradition. Easy home cooking. Then I had some jalapenos. I decided to throw those under the broiler till they got nice and black. Salt, pepper, oil. Blended it up. And mixed it with some mustard. You can't have corned beef and cabbage unless you got mustard. I made a nice roasted jalapeno mustard. Homemade. So let's try this meal and see how everything turned out. I'm gonna cut this up, get me a nice slice of corned beef. And my mustard, couple potatoes. And let's get a piece of cabbage going. Still nice and crunchy. You want it to be soft enough, but crunchy enough so you still get a nice crunch to it. But you want to bite through it. And some pancetta. All right, let's see how everything came out. Mmm. Mmm. That butter soaked through the cabbage with the onion powder and the garlic powder. It got the nice crispy saltiness from that pancetta. Good broiled cabbage. The potatoes are soft and buttery. You can really get a good taste from that onion powder. Mmm. Oh, let's try the corned beef with this jalapeno mustard. Mmm. The corned beef is nice and tender. The jalapeno mustard gives it that nice kick. It's some good home cooking. Because I got to eat. I got to eat good. And I got to eat on a budget. Here's how I did it home cooking today. Corned beef and cabbage. I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned for the next opus episode of Home Cooking. You can also email me at Nori's Home Cooking at gmail.com or Facebook or YouTube me at Nori's Cooking. Tell me what you're at home cooking. Because today I'm at home cooking some corned beef and cabbage. And it's delish. We'll see you next time. Stay tuned to see more of what I'm on home cooking. Bye.